part of our ongoing market research, the Oban Multilingual Team traveled to London to find out how various nationalities search online for their holidays. We were fortunate to encounter a multitude of nationalities from around the globe. My name is Kui Chu and I'm from China. We are from Prague, Czech Republic. I'm from Cologne. From Portugal, Lisbon. We are from India. From Mexico. I'm from Japan. From France. From Los Angeles, California. Numbers? Marusa. Marusa. From Greece. We're from Greece. The international travelers we spoke to confirmed our beliefs that the internet is integral to researching their holiday plans. When you travel, how important is the internet? Very important. I think it's the first priority. This is the main uh, tool that gives you the information worldwide, whenever, wherever you go. Right now, it's the most important way to find a hotel and travel tickets and flights. We did a lot of uh, searches in the internet before coming here, like uh, which places to go here and the uh, you know places of interest here. Did you buy your tickets online? Or like, um, yeah, well, yes, it was all yes, it was all done online. When the holiday makers were asked which sites they used to research their travel destinations, a variety of sites were named. Expedia.com, TravelZoo is real good. Um, Hotels.com, Hostels.com, Google, I don't know, there's a lot. What site? EasyJet.com. <laughs> we came with EasyJet, yes. Excellent. And how about your hotels? Uh, Bookings.com. We googled London and then we went to visit Britain. Wikipedia. <laughs> I hit up Wikipedia um, and there was a travel blog that I went to. What was that called? Travel blog. <laughs> Individual sites like Madame Tussaud, then uh, London Eye, mm -hmm. they have their own sites. Uh, Windsor Castle has their own site. Mm -hmm. So uh, by visiting those sites, then we uh, decided how to go there and so each day we were planning like that. What we found was that while the majority of people said they would prefer to search in their own language, the travel websites don't cater to them and so they're forced to search in English. So, uh, you gotta speak slowly, so, yeah, okay, <laughs> so I can okay. understand, right? Okay. My language is <laughs> okay. short, huh? So, are there many sites available in Malay? Uh, not that much. There are a few in English, but not in Malay. What language do you prefer to search in online? English or English? English, or English. Or English. Mm -hmm. English and uh, Korean. Uh, actually, in Korean uh, also. In, in German, it depends which side, which country, and the other side is uh, in English. So, with the importance of the internet, and the range of different sites used for online search beyond Google, there's a real demand for multilingual sites offering the same quality of content across all languages. I'm a real estate agent in Warsaw, and all of my clients that come from, from England, for example, or from the United States, they always say that if there is even a choose of language on Polish website, the English la language either doesn't work, either is not well prepared to translate all the words on, on the website. So I prefer searching English, to be honest. And I think that the problem with, with only Polish websites is that they're not well prepared to, to look for something in English language. It's definitely important that, for me that it's multilingual. Because, for example, my family, I'm, I'm by myself right now, but my family, my parents, and my sister are coming in August uh, to Europe too, and uh, they don't speak English. So uh, for me to give them advice through internet, uh, I had to have a Spanish, uh, you know, web yeah. to show them. So yeah, I prefer multilingual. Okay.